it's Hannah and um oh whew, oh hey everyone it's Hannah and this is the first video I filmed for two weeks so I feel a bit weird about doing it but I'm doing it and I have hair in my eyes so that's professional first of all I would just like to apologize for lack of video yesterday so right this is what happened so my parents came to visit for a week and then I didn't do any filming then and then I went to England for a week and didn't do any filming then and then basically I had three weeks worth of videos to film in one week and then didn't get um, yesterday's video filmed and I know I'm knitting but this isn't a crafty chat mainly because I don't have tea and also because that's just not what this video is what do you think of the lip color by the way it's new it's matte I don't know how I feel I mm, don't know if it just makes my lips look really dry but we're trying it out we're trying it it says a video about knitting, even though it's not a crafty chat. So I went back to England. For those of you who don't know, I am English, but I'm currently living in Germany. Um, that causes confusion for some people, but that, that is as simple as it gets. And there is no complications there. Basically, I um, went back to Nottingham last week and I was meant to vlog and didn't vlog because I'm a terrible person. But... I'm really into knitting scarves at the minute. I'm just knitting hitchhiker scarves. Oh, for those of you who've been watching my crafty chats, I finished the black scarf. You may have seen on um, Snapchat that I actually got that scarf finished, but I don't have it with me because I gave it to my sister who was right there and then. And then I started knitting this one as soon as I finished it. So, yes. Oh my goodness, my bracelet hooked onto the tablecloth. So, my parents came to visit. When they come and visit, they drive across. It is an 11 hour car journey. And my dad doesn't mind doing it, so they drive across, um, mainly because then, you know, it's easier, it's cheaper, because they take, well, they brought four people over and took five people back. I was one of them that went back with them, obviously. And um, it means my mum can knit on the journey. Yeah, so. I knitted on the journey back, I borrowed my mum's knitting needles and I was going to put my knitting on a bit of wool to travel back and then when I got back put my put the knitting back on the knitting needle because I didn't think you can take knitting needles on an aeroplane in your hand luggage. Well, you learn something new every day. I did some googling about knitting and knitting needles and knitting on a plane and turns out certain airports flying from the UK allow you to take knitting needles in your hand luggage. I realise that this may not be useful information for those of you who aren't living in the UK, but if you're visiting the UK and you want to take knitting needles back, this might be useful for you. Anyway, I checked the Stansted website because that's where we flew from and it clearly says in the frequently asked security questions, can I take knitting needles in my hand luggage? And it says, clear as day, knitting needles, are allowed. Now, just because it says on the website doesn't necessarily mean it's true, so I trialled the theory with my mother's knitting needles, which I now realise is a risky move, but one I was willing to take. And these are, I think they're metal, I'm not sure. I think they're metal, I think they're coated metal, because the end is starting to go shiny. They're either metal or plastic. But they're circular needles, they're not very long, they fitted in my handbag, which is, oh crumbs. They fitted in my handbag, which is this size here, this size of handbag, da da da, got my strawberry attached, tutorial was last week. Um, yeah, they fit in that handbag delightfully, so I need to straighten this up again. So, I didn't make a big deal about the fact that I had knitting needles in my hand luggage. I simply, they were right on the top of my handbag, so they weren't buried, they weren't hidden, they weren't hidden in anything, I didn't try and hide them, I didn't have them in my suitcase, because you can have a carry-along suitcase as well as a carry-on bag, and I didn't have uh, them in my carry-along suitcase, mainly because if, one, I was knitting on the train, and two, if they needed to get in and wanted to take them out, I didn't want them rummaging through my dirty underwear. So, um, yeah, I just went through airport security, didn't say a word, they didn't say a word, and I'm still knitting. So I was able to knit on the plane the whole way home, which was incredible. I say it, say it as though it was the longest journey ever. It wasn't that long of a journey. But um, yeah, so that is something that I have learnt this week. All I need to find out now is if the airport that I fly from here 
I can take knitting needles on there. I've had a look on the website and I can't see that it says anywhere. So I think I'm gonna have to do some thorough delving and delving in German, which is fine. But that was something I've learnt today, this week, this past couple of weeks. This current moment in my life, I have learnt that certain airports in the UK allow you to take knitting needles on an aeroplane. You can use Heathrow, Gatwick it doesn't say, and Stansted you can. So that's three London ones that you can take them on, which is really, really good, I think. Because, I mean, you know, I don't want to stab anyone with this. I just want to do some knitting on the plane. I realise this is a bit of a random video and might not actually be useful for many of you, but I hope that you enjoyed it anyway. Um, if you did, thumbs up, wonderful stuff, and don't forget to hit subscribe. I post craft tutorials usually here in the corner of craft, clues in the name, and um, I post them weekly on a Sunday. And they get bonus videos like this one in the week. Um, I try to do two a week, so on a Tuesday and on a Thursday, and I've apparently forgotten the days of the week now, my goodness, I'm just exhausted from the busy two weeks I've had. But yeah, um, I hope that you did enjoy this video. How cute is this necklace, by the way? super cute it is by pixel pearls it's actually meant to be a planner charm which is why it's got a trigger clasp on it thumbs up don't forget to subscribe set all of that stuff my usual routine blah, 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 blah. hope that you like the lip color let me know mm. looks a bit dry doesn't it i feel like i need to put some vaseline on over the top of it which counterproducts how matte it is maybe i've just got an old wrinkly mouth mm. so attractive Thank you very much for watching, and I shall see you very soon in my next video. Bye. Hey everyone, it's Hannah, and today I'm actually going to do something that I've seen a lot of YouTubers do, um, and it's when they react to their old videos. So I'm just gonna quickly get some old videos up. But for those of you who don't know, um, I actually had a YouTube channel before the Corner of Craft. Um, it's got 232 subscribers. And I started making videos when I was 17. Um, I think, early 2008, so yeah, I think I was 17. 